Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. If you are new, welcome. My name is Alex. I'm a single mom to one beautiful daughter named Savannah, and she is 11 years old, and I'm 31 years old, and we live in the state of Wisconsin. I'm an independent contractor. I shop and deliver groceries to customers. My paychecks can be very inconsistent. Some weeks I can make as low as $500 and other weeks I can make close to $1,000 or even more than $1,000 a week. So if you're a gig worker, you could probably relate to my budget. So since I do have such a you know small paycheck and inconsistent paycheck, I like to use the cash envelope system to budget out for the week. So this week I made $645.53. So um, as you guys can see, I have a new wallet. So that's just a quick little update. Um, as you guys know, I used to use this guy, but I wouldn't be able to close this guy like ever. So this was a really good wallet to start off with. I loved it. Um, I guess the downsides of a small wallet like this is, um, for instance, if you have a bigger wallet like this, um, and then you have the binders, you can swap out the envelopes super easy. But for me, like if I needed to add a category to this one, um, I couldn't do that because the, uh, the envelopes are much smaller than the binder envelopes. So you can't really like swap out like if you need a certain section so that was kind of one downside that i've noticed and then obviously i wasn't able to close this guy um a lot so um but with that being said though i do like to see my money grow um so i don't really um if like i have a leftover money for the week i always keep it and I keep growing it um, unless I feel like I need to change like what I'm putting in there and how much if I feel like it's too much or too little. So that's probably also the reason why this didn't work out. Um, so, so yeah, I opted for a large one. <clears throat> and so I got this off of Amazon. Um, to be perfectly honest with you guys, um, I might order a different one just because um, I'm not, I've used this for a week and I'm not a huge fan and I'll show you a couple of reasons why. So I opted for something like this first off because um, there's a zipper. Um, I really like the fact that you can close this versus like if you just carry a binder with you, obviously nothing's like super secure. So that kind of made me nervous just to use like a binder in general. Um, <clears throat> so that's why I opted for something like this. So I love the outside, but obviously in the photos on Amazon, I was able to see the inside and um, it is, it is orange, you guys. <laughs> um, I thought this wouldn't really bother me too much, but now that I've had it for a week, it really bothers me because the majority of the time you're actually going to see the inside and not really so much the outside. So it kind of took a toll on me and I've decided I don't want this wallet anymore. So I got a new wallet, but I will be probably replacing it um, somewhat soon. So um, if you guys have any cute options, definitely send me some links. Uh, because it's definitely hard to find wallets like this that has, like, the zipper. So, ideally, I would like something with a zipper. And also, like, I've noticed there are, like, somewhat a couple options online, but a lot of these ones with the zippers are really expensive. And I was quite shocked. I think this one was only, like, $23 or $26. Um... I'll definitely leave a link for this one if you guys are interested. But yeah, just keep in mind um, that this is actually quite longer than the A6 binder. And that is mainly because of probably the space that is needed around this to be able to zipper it shut. <clears throat> 
so yeah just keep in mind it's gonna be probably bigger than expected so so yeah all right so let's just jump right into the stuffing and then as I get to the binders I'll kind of give you an update on the binders as well because I did um end up kind of merging a couple of categories together and so now I only have two binders instead of at at one point I had four so I really condensed it down and I was able to do that because I actually got new envelopes so I used to have envelopes that had the zipper and these ones do not and oh my goodness they take up a lot less space so I'm really loving these I'll leave a link down below if you are interested in those as well I highly I highly recommend these so all right let's get into it so as I was saying my paycheck was six hundred and forty five dollars and fifty three cents this week so I am going to start off with my personal spending I will be adding in twenty dollars this week so now my personal spending currently has 50, 60, 70, 75, $76. Right now I'm actually focusing on saving up for a Cameo 4. I know there's a Cameo 5, but I plan on getting the older version just because it'll be cheaper. <clears throat> and that is a vinyl cutter. And I believe you can even cut fabric and other things. Um, but yeah, it's like a computerized cutter, um, that, you know, can cut labels, you know, like I have, um, this label right here and you can make like a lot nicer labels that look nicer. And I would love to do that to my, my wallet. So I plan on buying one. I did find one for $200 brand new. <clears throat> I considered getting a used one, but I think I'm just going to go with a new one just in case um, if something is broken or, you know, something like that, I, I'd feel more comfortable just getting a new one. So that is what I'm going to save up for. Savannah, my kiddo, this is just um, her school money and basically any money that I would need to spend on her besides clothing. I add into here so she will be getting ten dollars um, and that is because she has a field trip coming up so now she currently has twenty six dollars in there yeah these envelopes are a lot easier to open up for sure than the zipper ones household this week will be getting twenty dollars so now household has 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87. So one thing I did update for household, I used to have a decor section and I took that out. So now households will be household and decor, basically anything, you know, home related. Beauty, I did merge this one as well. I used to have a section for personal hygiene. So now beauty and personal hygiene will be all in one labeled beauty. So I will be adding in $5 this week. So now there is $25 in this section. Clothes for me, I will be only adding in $5. I've recently bought winter boots and um, snow pants just because they were on clearance because winter's ending and uh, so I pretty much only really need comfortable work shirts. So for for my clothes I currently have 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82 dollars in there. And for me I don't have a uniform so, um, I just like to wear like big baggy t-shirts, especially in the summertime, like be super nice and comfortable. So I just plan on getting some big baggy shirts for work shirts. 
Savannah. Her clothing currently has 50, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9. I will be adding in $10 for her. My daughter just keeps on growing. Now she currently has 115, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, my daughter is almost the same height as me, and I'm 5'3", so, and she's only 11. It's ridiculous. Eating out. Oh, so something new that my daughter and I tried, we tried the cotton candy freezies from Burger King, and I know they're brand new. Um, I don't know when they came out, but they are so good you guys and then you can get the cloud one which has cold foam on top and oh my goodness it was so good oh so yeah if you haven't tried that out yet give it a try so eating out will be getting 30 dollars. we've been pretty naughty with eating out but um this money is for me and my daughter so that is you know for two people so I mean, technically we get like $15 each per week. So usually that covers about a meal. And then if I have a little bit extra, I might get a special drink. So eating out currently has 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, $44 in eating out. Family Fun has quite a bit of money in here. I will be adding in 20. I definitely feel now that it's warming up here in Wisconsin, we'll definitely be doing a lot more activities. Family Fun currently has 120, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 146. I really wanna to go to Six Flags, Great America. The closest one to me would be Gurney, Illinois. So it's quite a hike, but um, I definitely want to take my daughter there. My daughter has not been to Six Flags yet. And I grew up, like, my mom took us there, like, at least five times during the summer, I want to say. So I grew up going there. So, but my daughter's really scared of heights. So, I haven't really pushed it. I keep asking her if she wants to go and she keeps telling me no. So, but I think at a certain point, I'm just going to force her to go and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> All right. That's everything for my wallet. And then I did make myself um, a little envelope for coupons because I live in Wisconsin. And if you live in Wisconsin, you know Culver's. So I have a whole bunch of Scooby tokens in here. And then I do have an envelope for groceries. Um, we do receive assistance for that, um, but sometimes, sometimes it's not enough. So sometimes I do have to give myself a little bit extra for groceries, but so far we've been really good and we really try to make that stretch. So I actually just got a three pound bag of onions and I plan on chopping all that up and storing it in the freezer. So. Yeah, I like to buy in bulk and, you know, freeze and save money as much as I can. All right, and that's it for this guy. If you guys are interested in purchasing this, they um, it does have, like, quite a bit of card space in there. And it does have space for your coins right here if, um, if you need that. Um, I think in my next video, I'll show you guys what I use for my coins. I just have like a little contraption thing where you just put your coins in and it keeps each coin like separate. I just use that. I'll have to show that to you guys in the next video because I'm sure you guys might have wondered like, what do you do with all your coins? <laughs> so, all right, that is it for the wallet. Next up. So this, I switched this guy to finally like my travel vacation binder. So currently I do only have vacation in here. Um, I definitely plan on putting in a lot more categories like lodging, activities, and food. 
Um, but for right now, I just add in $20 every week into here, which I will actually do quickly. I set aside $20 for vacation every week to reach $1,000 at the end of the year. So currently I have $420. All right, that is everything for my travel binder. Next up is pretty much everything else. I used to have a, a separate binder for bills and holidays, but since I updated all of my envelopes, I am able to fit everything into one, which I feel is a lot nicer and more convenient. So I am super happy about that. So for gas, I had $51 left over, um, and that is because last week I had money left over, but um, I didn't take anything out. So this week I just had basically two weeks of leftover gas money, and I had a ton left over. So I won't be adding in the usual $50. For car maintenance, I will be adding in $20. So now car maintenance has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,040 in here. And then if you're new uh, to my channel, I do use fake $100 bills only in this binder and my travel binder, not my actual wallet. I use fake 100s because... Um, whenever I reach over a hundred dollars in a certain section, I do replace it with a fake 100 because it makes me nervous with how much, you know, cash I have in here. Time off and bad work week will be getting its usual 20. Again, I'm an independent contractor, so I don't get vacation time. And then this section is also for obviously bad work week. So that means if you know, one week I don't really make enough money to pay all my bills, then I can just take from here. I've never really been in a pickle to where I've had to do that, but um, it could very well happen since my paychecks are very inconsistent. So um, I just kind of plan. So time off has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 552. And then I'm pretty sure once it reaches maybe a thousand dollars, I think I'll cut it off. I don't know. We'll see. Electronics. I'm currently saving up for a backup computer for my daughter for just in case. Electronics will be getting $20 this week which is what I typically put in here. Uh, it currently has 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 170 in electronics. Dental and medical. I do not have any dental or medical bills. This is just for a just in case. Um, Sometimes like I do have to pay a certain amount of money for prescriptions and other things. So um, this is just, you know, for that. And also my daughter will be needing braces soon. And I have no idea how much um, will be covered. So I'm just kind of putting $10 in a week uh, for just in case. And also anything could happen, you know, so... I currently have 110, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 137 in dental and medical. And I feel like anything could happen too. Like for instance, my dental insurance definitely would not cover any cosmetic um, issues. So let's just say someone cracks a tooth, like I'm pretty sure that that would be considered cosmetic. So yeah, this is just, I sometimes overthink and overanalyze about a lot of different things. So that is just my thought process with dental and medical. Birthday currently has $5. I will be adding in another five. 
I think the next birthday that's coming up would be my mother's. So I'm just going to try to remember to consistently add in $5 a week just to build that up. Gifts currently has $30. I will be adding in um, another five. So now it'll be at 35. The next thing I would need to give a gift to someone would probably be for Mother's Day holidays so I did merge this one so I used to have separate categories for each holiday so I combined all of them besides Christmas I am going to keep Christmas separate from all of the other holidays so just because I didn't really necessarily need them to be separate but um, Christmas definitely needs to be separate so I just merged all of the other ones into holidays so holidays has zero and will not be getting anything because the next holiday that's coming up would be 4th of July, I believe so. And yeah, we don't, we don't need to really start saving up for 4th of July. 4th of July is my favorite holiday though, so I do really like to go crazy on 4th of July. So you might see me saving up, you know, a, you know, at least a little bit amount of money for that. Christmas currently has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I will be adding in $20, so that will make it $90. $90 for Christmas. And now we're going to start the bill portion. Rent will need $110. And I live in low income housing if you are new. So that is all for rent. I'm not going to count all of this out because it's not really necessary. My bills are always the same every single week. Storage unit will be getting 19. Electric will be getting 18. For electric, I might have to start putting in maybe slightly more money um, for when, you know, it starts to get really warm. It's actually been like consistently in the 60s here in Wisconsin for this week. So it's definitely warming up over here. Internet will be getting seven. Phone bill will be getting $10. I think I should be able to just slide that in there. Car wash will be getting 16. I definitely should be able to go down to the cheaper car wash now. I currently have the underbody feature on it, which makes it more expensive, the $16. So this is like the summer price basically. And then this is the winter price just cause I have to add on the underbody wash. And that is for two vehicles for two memberships. Car insurance will be getting 19. Walmart Plus will be getting $2. This is just a grocery delivery service that you pay. I pay per year. You don't have to pay per year. You can pay per month or you can just pay per order. But I believe it's only, I think it's $120, I think, for the whole year. So I just do it that way. Or maybe it's $100. I can't remember. Spotify will be getting $3. T 
TV streaming will be getting $3. I currently only have Peacock right now. So if you have any show recommendations, definitely let me know. I can definitely recommend Alien Resident. It's a really funny show. It's a comedy. And Jim will be getting $6. All right, and then savings. So I did finally add an envelope for savings. And so I will be updating you guys as far as how much I have in savings. So I am excited about that. So like I said, I will be putting in $96 for savings. And then I'll just quickly count out how much money I have in here. I'll actually quickly swap out these 50s for, for 100 so I don't forget. All right. So savings currently has, um, so I do have the fake $1,000 bills. So I have $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, $6,000, $7,000, $8,000, $9,000, $10,000, $11,000, $12,000, $13,000, $14,000, $15,000, $16,000, $17,000, $18,000, $19,000, $20,000,
And then basically everything that I have left over, I am able to add into my savings challenge, which is awesome. So let's see here. I'm just gonna use this marker, I suppose. So I'm pretty sure I have $86 left over, 50, 60, 70, 80. $86. So I think that one is open. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm going to try to fold it differently so this binder doesn't become super thick. I don't know how much this will help by doing that, but we'll see. Alright. Oh yeah, I suppose it helps out a pretty good bit amount. Alright, so $86. And this savings challenge, I try, I'm gonna try to plan on completing this in a whole year. It is for $5,050. Oh, and actually, so I forgot, so I do have some tip money again, $15. So I'm going to actually add that into here as well. Or, I mean, I could I could put it into my spending money for uh, the Cameo 4, but eh, I should probably put it in savings. Okay, so I have a 10 and a 5 one, so we'll see. Do I have a 10 open? Okay, so I could do a 12. And, oh, three is already taken. I could do an 11 and a 4. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. 11. And 4. I can get it open. <laughs> All right, 11 and four. Awesome. I'm super proud of myself for actually able to add a lot into my savings binder this week. So super proud of myself for that. So good job, Alex. All right, well, that is everything you guys i hope you guys are enjoying your weekend again and uh thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel um if you could definitely leave a comment down below or even a like that definitely helps out my channel grow um so yeah i would very much appreciate it and thank you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye